Hello, Kyle Birch here with Cloud Radix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to extend WooCommerce uh, using the Gravity Forms product add-on plugin. And this solves the problem of if you want to create group products, for example, um, you can only do it with simple products um, to link them to. Um, so that doesn't work if you have variable products, which is what we need to do in this situation. So first thing we're going to do is make sure you have Gravity Forms installed and your Gravity Forms product add-on installed, which it is. Come over here to Forms. And you simply select Add New. So this is going to be the first step before you actual, actually create your product. So, for example, this is going to be a group for Snyder Wrestling, which is a wrestling group. Create. Okay. And now we're going to come over to the pricing fields. Our product. Oops. Drag that over. And this product name is simply going to be, let's say, hoodie. Move your description there. I'm going to create a drop down because we're going to have different sizes. I like to leave uh, the first one here. I'm just going to say select. Select an option. Zero price. Second choice. Example small. This is going to be, we'll say, $15. And medium, we can see the price increases here to, so we're going to have a different price, 17 Okay. Now let's go ahead and update that form to save that first one. Okay, now let's say we want to have different quantities. You can simply drag the quantity. Oops. Come on. There we go. It went over. Okay. Quantity description. Then this is important here. This is what's going to map to that actual product. So this is going to map to the product hoodie, our product item. Because if you have multiple different products, then you have, you're going to have multiple different quantity fields as well. So you can label these uh, as you see fit. Okay. that one for now. You change the field type to drop down or enter a number. Well let's go and we're gonna go ahead and add another product. Just click on that. So we're gonna do shirts, description, different field types here, radio buttons, predefined prices, calculations. We don't really want to do that. We just want drop down for select an option. Um, so you'll see how this is done. Five, we'll say medium is six dollars. Okay. Now, only thing we need to do is we could add another quantity and map it to that shirt if you wanted to as well. But I don't make this too long. Go ahead and select total. We get a subtotal of all that they've ordered. Okay, now we have our form, or what I would say, your advanced group product form created. Now let's go ahead and add an item. Add product. Okay. Alright, I'm going to name this overall item for this uh, specific group here, Tonight Wrestling. Publish so it's there. You can apply it to whatever category you seem you would like. So add a new one as well. Okay. Important thing is this standard here in your description for the entire grouping right there as well. Okay. Keep a simple product. Your SKU. So Snyder Wrestling. Regular price. You have to put something there. We'll put one dollar but it doesn't matter because we're going to remove it down here another important part this has to be done we're going to choose our form that we created display our title and description you want to disable remove the woocommerce price disable total disable options you want to disable all those because the form that we created actually handles that um, itself i'll update it once more time okay 
and you can set your image there just as you normally would um, product image and you can add a gallery to, for the rest of the products that you need are to correlate to the other products okay now the important part catalog visibility are another important part so say you want to hide this from only you know general people browsing the store you don't want them to see this product um, so you can just give a specific group of people for example like a school um, a unique URL or a unique thing to search so if you want this only available to be found via search um, we go ahead and hit search so now if I copy this title here and you can make this title whatever you want any kind of code or not code but text okay so then we'll come uh, get off this page okay we'll hit the search bar here paste what we're looking for whatever the code is and that's one I created earlier um, should be the right one hoodie correct Ooh, subtotal okay we don't want to see that uh, let's go back to our item here disable subtotal oh excuse me I wanted to miss that one okay let's go ahead and refresh that okay that's what we want to see hoodie small quantity one that's gonna because it's gonna select a shirt by default okay so we got medium you can see the price increase medium we can see how the price varies quantity I want to go five you can see how that jumps up add to cart view cart and we can see um, the order there shirt medium quantity five hoodie small okay and that's a basic overview of how we would do uh, these type of product groupings and they can if you need to dial them down for reporting of course WooCommerce reports sales by product and then you'd have that individual product name which is what well, we named that one Snyder Wrestling so you can still drill down and see how much uh, traffic and revenue that's bringing you okay that's gonna be it for this video and thanks